Today we're visiting Russell House Tavern. It's located at 14 JFK Street, right in the heart of Harvard Square. And we're going to come up to their beautiful outside patio with all their green space. Hi there, Carly. Hi, Denise. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Good to see you. Good to see you. And here we are at Russell House Tavern. Good. What's going on today? What's going on? So much. Um, we're just getting ready for lunch service. Uh, we've been open for just a little bit. Um, we're just staying out here. The patio is all ready to go. Um, but I'd love to show you around inside. Sure. The patio looks beautiful in here. Do you get to water all those flowers or does somebody else get to do that? Oh, we do it ourselves. It is super hot, so we try and do it a couple times a day. Yes, I can um, imagine. John Patali from Patali Flowers did a lot of work out there, so we do our best to keep it beautiful. Nice. We'll come inside to the AC. Yeah, it's um, nice and cool in here. <laughs> of course. Um, I'd love to show you around some of our event spaces. Sure. Um, so we do lots of events at Russell House, and there's a lot of different spaces to do it in. So if we start up here, um, this space is our tavern. Um, so this space is great for a medium to large size cocktail reception. Anywhere from 50 to 100 people standing. Um, it's a wonderful event space for a couple of reasons. Um, first, obviously you've got these windows. Gorgeous sunlight, um, you can't beat it. Um, also, you, when you rent out this space, you have a completely private bar, which is pretty unique. Um, it's hard to find that without doing a whole restaurant buyout. Um, so then, absolutely love to have that up here. Um, for cocktail receptions, we usually remove a lot of the low tables along the bank cats. Um, potentially one or two of these high tops, but we definitely leave some uh, for stationary food service as well. And the number of people? 50 to 100. Great, great. Awesome. Uh, so this is a great space, but we can also head downstairs to show you some other spaces as well. Sure. So for cocktail receptions that are a little bit smaller than what I was just describing, um, right at the bottom of the stairs here is our lounge. Yes. So this is also a wonderful cocktail space. Um, you have a sort of a similar vibe. So you have those high top tables um, and also direct bar access. So <laughs> when we set this space up for cocktail receptions, we again remove all the chairs, some of the tables, but there's still plenty of space for stationary food as well. Yes. Um, we remove a section of bar chairs so the guests would have direct access to the bartenders, which is awesome. Um, and this space is great for anywhere from 30 to 40 guests. So a little on the on the smaller side than what you see on the stairs. Yeah, it's a little more intimate. A little more intimate. Um, but as we work this way, um, we do a lot of seated dinners here as well, um, and we have a beautiful private dining room. So this space, um, I actually set part of it up for you today just so you can see. Um, when it's not in use, it's just regular uh, regular dining tables for, for guests coming in. Um, but uh, it does have a collapsible wall that pulls out to create this completely private space. So. I even have options here. Um, right now, what I have set up is what we call the half private dining room. Um, so as you can see, these glass panels pull out. Um, there's a curtain here as well, which is acceptable. So depending on how much privacy you're looking for, lots of options. If we head in here, um, we left the tables as is, but we typically do one long table for, for dinners in here, although uh, we'll basically do any table arrangement that works. Um, you even have um, the TV in the space as well, which is great for any presentations um, that might be going on in here for business dinners. Um, but we also do lots of special occasions, graduation dinners, birthday parties, things like that. Nice. Um, I even turned on the Bruins game for some really great Boston fans one time uh, who went there and had their private dinner in here as well. Um, but what's great is that this wall here actually can collapse back into this wall and this space can get twice as large for the yes. full private dining area. Yes. Um, which if, if I come out here you can see would include this side as well. Yes. So I have the opportunity to do two half of the dining rooms or the full space if I collapse this wall here and pull the rest of the, yes. the glass out. Yes. Um, so there's tons of options um, for seated dinners. It's beautiful. Um, the each half space can fit up to 15 guests. If you do the full space, pull the glass all the way across. I can do 28 guests at one long table, or if I do separate tables, I can do up to 35. Well, I know that you host the Rotary Club of Cambridge I do. every Thursday. Every Thursday, yes. they're great regulars. We love to see them. Yes, um, and that's just one great example of, of using this this room. Yes, and as a as a Cambridge Rotarian, I really do appreciate that you're here in Harvard Square. So it's easy access for people from around right. the city to come to Harvard Square, have their lunch, 
and you know see their presentations, guest speakers, that sort of thing. So it's great space. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. I'm glad you used that. Yes. Um, so then, if we're really thinking large, um, we're thinking of some of those large recruiting events that might be coming up this fall for companies in the area. Or um, I know it's still summer, but I'm even thinking ahead to those holiday parties that happen in December for a lot of companies. Um, for those large cocktail receptions, we actually do full downstairs buyouts. So that would include every area you see on this floor, including the full bar. Um, there's tons of space for receptions like that. So that could be anywhere from 100 to 150 plus people. Yes. Um, and those get really big brand. They're a ton of fun. Um, so that's, that's a great opportunity for those large scale events. Um, I even hosted, this might have been my favorite event I've ever done here. Um, a couple months ago I hosted a wedding reception on this ground floor and it was gorgeous. John Fatale, who did the flowers on our patio, came in and helped me put flowers all over this place. It was candlelit. Um, we removed a lot of the tables and chairs and it was romantic and just gorgeous. Um, so really, the sky's the limit um, to customize an event here um, from seated dinners to co the cocktail receptions. Um, there's just so much opportunity for this sure. space. It's really what about fun. your menu? The menu, so we have um, both lunch and dinner options. Um, they're pre fee so um, for multiple courses. And then for cocktail receptions, I have a large variety of stationery orders and also past orders. Um, mm -hmm. Our chefs have a great menu picked out, but again, also room for customization sure. um, for whatever fits your needs. And if you're not doing a special event and if you're just coming for lunch or dinner, just good, really nice pub food menu? Yeah, absolutely. It's American fare and we have everything from the classic burger and the you know the flatbread pizzas but all the way up to some more sophisticated entree options there's really there's something for everyone mm -hmm. on this menu absolutely yep. and a full bar oh absolutely of course we are so proud of our craft cocktail list yes. um, and our bar manager lex um we just we can't talk enough um, we have so much great to offer from the bar um including brand new actually as of yesterday um, a rum from privateer um, that is very specific to the Grafton group you can only get this rum from one of the Grafton restaurants wow. uh, it was cast specifically for us um, and we're the only people to sell it and once we sell it it'll never come back again uh, it's called the bow and arrow you can actually um, drink a bow and arrow cocktail at any of the Grafton restaurants wow. um, it's really special so that just happened yesterday. It happened yesterday. A big Brand launch of the bow and arrow. I yes, love that. It's really exciting. It's delicious. And you have many Grafton Group restaurants now. So yeah. they are? All the Grafton restaurants. So we're here at Russell House Tavern. Um, on Dunster Street, it would be Hourly Oyster House. Yes. Also on JFK Street, Park Restaurant and Bar. <laughs> There's Grafton Street Pub and Grill, uh, just down on Bow Street, actually. Um, if you head towards Porter, you have Temple Bar, and then our one sister restaurant in Boston um, is Day Street Provision. Excellent. Well, that's great. How do people find you? How do they find us? So we're here on JFK Street. Um, you can visit us at our website, which is RussellHouseCambridge.com. Um, on Instagram, you can also find us there. Lots of fun pictures of cocktails and food. Um, Russell House Tab. Excellent. Thanks so much. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, Carly.